Hi, everybody. I wanted to put together a quick video just to show teachers out there how I made my flat teacher Bitmohi project. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on how I made mine. So I thought I'd just make a quick video and it would be super easy for people to watch and to be able to make theirs. So what I use for mine is Google Chrome and Microsoft Word. And right now I'm currently using Zoom. So I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can watch how I did it exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And on the right side of my screen is Google Chrome, the left is Microsoft Word. So you're going to search Bitmohi in Google and click the first link it gives you, bitmohi.com. Scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see the little Google Chrome icon. And this is the extension that you need to download. So you're gonna click on that. And then it's going to ask you to click download again. So at the top right hand corner, there should be a little blue rectangle that you'll click on. Mine says remove because I've already downloaded Bitmohi. So just download it and then sign into Bitmohi. You can also sign in using Snapchat, which I thought was really convenient. After you download it, there should be a little Bitmohi icon at the top here. So you're going to click on that. And then you should see all of your little people. In the search bar, you're going to search pose. And then scroll and just look for anyone you want. Here's the one that I used right here. So with one finger, you're going to click on the bitmohi you want, and with the other finger, you're going to drag it across the screen like so. After you drag it into Microsoft Word, just let go and it'll pop right up. So here's a little, a few tips and tricks. Once you get it into Microsoft Word, you're going to wanna to crop all that extra white space out of there so you can fit more bitmohis on your screen. So go to picture format and then go to crop and crop all that extra white space off of the picture so you can fit more on the screen. After you crop it down to a good size, you're going to click on it and copy it. I use Command C, super easy. Click next to it, hit the space one time because you want a little space in between your bitmohis when you're cutting them out. And then Command V is paste. So Command V again, Command V again, Command V again, Command V again. So that way I fit six on the page. Now, if your bitmohis go to the next page in Microsoft Word, you need to change your margin size. So I probably should have kept my margins normal for this video, but I just realized that I didn't. So go to layout. If your bitmohis go to the next page and you can't fit six on a page, go to layout, go to margins, and notice how I have narrow selected already. Normal Word documents are always normal. So I always do this with all of my Microsoft Word documents because it just gives you that much more room on the page and you can fit more things. So just make sure that you select narrow and that way you can fit more bitmohis on the page. Also, after you print your bitmohis on regular paper, you're going to want to glue them onto construction paper before you laminate them because that'll just make them that much more durable, especially if you have little kiddos out there that are gonna be running around the house with your little bitmohis and you don't want an arm to rip off or a head to rip off. So just make them more durable, little tip. Um, and that's it. So I hope this video helped you. And if you have any other questions, you can send me a message. I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Um, but I hope you have fun with your students and you go on lots of adventures. Bye-bye.